Um, I'm from Ventura County, California, and my mom reactivated the church when I was seven years old. And my dad wasn't a member, hated everything about my mom going to church and bringing my, me and my two sisters along with her. Um, and when my dad, when I was 16 years old, my dad for the first time really started opening up to the church, opening up to the missionaries. The missionaries were actually able to come over into our home um, and share spiritual messages with my dad, which is uh, something that hadn't happened in the past. And he came to a scout camp with us in New Mexico one summer, and my dad was the only non-member there. And the spirit was so strong, and he felt he felt the power of God for the first time ever in his life. And I can remember when he was tearing up one night as we had our testimony meeting, and it was the first time I ever saw my dad really feel the spirit. Um, and he came home that summer, and um, five months later, with a few missionary discussions um, for the first time ever, um, my dad was baptized on September 5th, um, 2009, at 5.30 p.m. I remember it like it was yesterday. And it was neat because I had just turned 16. I was the one that was able to baptize my dad, which was a dream that I would have never have thought possible in my wildest dreams because growing up, my dad was just not welcome welcoming to the church or the gospel. And so seeing my dad go through this process and then being sealed in the temple exactly a year later to my mom and my dad and my two sisters was the neatest experience I could ever describe. And having gone through that process and seeing the gospel change my family so dramatically and having this love and this happiness and this light in my home that had never been there before motivated me so much to go on a mission and to give it my absolute all. And that experience with my dad and my family changed my perspective on why I wanted to be a missionary so much.